how to build this super simple hauler with 10 chests in Lego Fortnite. This is perfect for those that prefer driving vehicles over flying vehicles. It's super fast, it can get almost anywhere, and it doesn't flip. To start, we're gonna take a medium dynamic foundation, then go to toys, then go to vehicle parts, and then we're gonna scroll down to vehicle base nine. We're gonna snap one to the front and to the back. In the back, we're gonna place a power center so it's hanging off the back by just one space. Then we're gonna take a small driver's seat, put it in the center all the way up to the front so that way it's not hanging off. Now we're going to go to building parts, walls, and scroll all the way down to the half walls. It doesn't matter what half wall you use as long as it's one of the two by twos, but wooden ones will be lighter. So the first one we're going to place all the way up against the power center to the side, and then one up against the power center on the other side. Then at the front, we're going to take another half wall and put it on the side, and we're going to make sure it's lined up with the back of the seat. Then do the same thing to the other side. Now we're going to add our chests, and I believe any of these chests will work, but I'm going to be using grand chests. The first one we're going to place as far forward as we can, then another one as far back as we can, then do another one on the front and the back, then do one more on the front. Now we're going to go to building parts and then floors. Now here it doesn't matter which one, but we're going to take an 8x8 eight eight floor piece. What we're going to do is we're going to look at one of these pillars and then we're going to use the nudge control to nudge it backwards until it turns green and then nudge it to the side so it's centered. Before we place it, now that we're still looking at this pillar, we can look up and down and you wanna look as far down as you can until it turns red and then do the one space above that's green. So that way this shelf is right above these chests. Now we're gonna do the same thing in the front, just look at one of the pillars and then nudge it backwards until it turns green and then sideways until it's lined up and then look down till it turns red and then one space up until it turns green and we place it there. Then we're gonna switch to eight by two floors and we're gonna snap one to the back and three to the front. Now we can start to add our second row of chests, one all the way front, one all the way back, then one more in the back as far as it'll go, and then two more in the front as far forward as it'll go. Now you don't have to do this, but you can do the same shelf technique in the back for a second power center. So you would build another shelf outward, and now you have space for a second power center in the back. Now you can hold eight batteries. Now for the tires, we're gonna start in the back, so we're gonna take the large powered wheels, not the steerable. So with powered wheels, we're gonna take the first one and snap it as far back as it will go. Now the second one's a little funny, you're gonna need to snap it, and then while you're holding snap, nudge it to the left so they're basically touching, but they're not. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, one snapped all the way to the back, and then again, we're gonna snap it anywhere that we can because we can't technically snap it here so we're gonna snap it there and then nudge it one to the right now we're gonna do the same exact thing to the front but with steerable wheels one as far forward as it'll go and then another one we're gonna need to snap it here and nudge it one space forward and same thing for the other side snap as far forward as it will go and then the second tire goes right behind that also make sure that all of your tires are facing forward then the last step is to put a large balloon as far centered as you can get it so with eight batteries and ten chests you should be able to explore any biome with ease so if that was helpful, be sure to follow for even more LEGO Fortnite content. And if you're not already supporting a Fortnite creator in the item shop, please consider using code EPICBRICKS.